Yo, what's up, what's good, squad? How you doing? How you feeling, man? It's your boy D-Facts on another bank reaction. You already know the day is, man. The day is Selena Monday, number 84. Today, we got Selena with Over the Rainbow. This is actually a movie clip, so we got some visuals. Um, hopefully, it's a legit video. Um, this video was actually requested from my cousin um, from last week. Um, or the week before that, I, I forget. But um, I, like I told y'all in one of the last ones, um, it was between Felipe and Brandy. Um, and my cousin was nice enough for him to go first with his request, so I did his last week. And now I'm doing hers. I'm doing my cousin Brandy's request, and her request was Over the Rainbow. Now apparently, Over the Rainbow was one of her songs that she made when she was a little girl. This is when she first started. This was before the Elos Dinos and all that, before all of that. You know, this is before, this is when they first started, like when they was, I guess when they was performing in the restaurants or whatever, you know. So, I'm, I'm excited, you know, to get into this. Um, it's bad quality once again, but it shows it's raw, it shows it's authentic. I tend to appreciate it just because of that, but I hope y'all too, I hope y'all do too. If not, I apologize, brother. I don't know what to say. But with that being said, we're going to get started. I'm going to leave the original video link script down below. If you want to check it out on your own time, as always, like, comment, subscribe, join the d squad if you haven't already, man. Um, I appreciate everybody that is already. But yeah, let's hop into this video. In the Dinos. That's what it used to be. Like, so I'm guessing this is a clip from the Selena movie. Like the one with, with uh, Jennifer Lopez. In the middle of the restaurant, you know, had to start from somewhere. I think I seen the movie only one time. And I seen it because people kept saying that I should watch it. But like I told y'all, I've watched the Netflix series, seen the movie, I've seen the documentaries. I think almost everything that was released about Selena, I've seen at least one time. Um, Cause I don't know, it's, it's, it's something about Selena's story that, that, that people put out there that I just, I don't want to watch more than once because it's that sad. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like, I under, like I, appreciate her story and I'm very interested in her story it's just watching it more than one time is very like emotional and I don't even I don't know how many of y'all like agree with me with that but I don't know Selena's story is like one of those ones that I just can't watch more than one time like you feel me like I wouldn't even watch the Netflix series again because I already know what's about to go down so like you know it just makes me sad sometimes like just to know that she's not here and because of a fortunate situation you know but yeah i've seen everything at least one time and i've even read the books and stuff so um yeah so i don't even remember this part of the movie was this the beginning of the movie like when they were showing like you know how she started if that would make sense you know what i'm saying but i know some of y'all probably seen this many times like the movie and stuff but me like I just don't think I could do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like if I tend to, you know, I would try to not get emotional. But it's like, yeah, if I had to choose, I would. Because, you know, it's just emotional. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's just fucked up. Imagine just performing in front of people while they eat. Where you find me. 
that was her dad teaching her how to sing in Spanish, or that was just teaching her how to be comfortable with singing. Either or, you know what I'm saying? His dad, was, her dad was getting her right, getting them right. Everybody, because I think her dad had a vision. She, she, he just had a vision, and he made it a reality. You know, he might have been protective, and he might have been controlling. You know, according to you know the Quintanillas, but he had a great plan. Like, and his plan worked. You know, like I respected the fact that he even owed everything. Like he owned everything. Like everybody's house was on one block. Like that's just yeah. This shit is hard, but yeah, man, like every, every, all the actors and stuff, they did, they, they did a good job. Like, you know, I was impressed with the movie and stuff, you know, and turns out at Chris, the actual Chris Perez, her actual husband was, was in the movie, but didn't show his face. I think he was just playing the guitar. You feel me? Like, I don't think he thought, I don't think he knew like that this was about what that was going to be. You know what I'm saying? Like doing like the biopic for his, his, uh, late wife. You know what I'm saying? And I think he said something about that in an interview, if y'all remember. Said that, you know, when he did it, he just, he thought it was a setup or whatever, you know. But he ended up doing it and, you know, like I said, they didn't show his face, but he was the one playing the guitar, which is crazy. Like, I didn't even know that. They was fucking with her. That's the thing. Like the the little gigs in the restaurants, like that was like that was fire. You know what I'm saying? Like that was fire. That was a, like a like a good a good way for her to start. For all of them to start. You know, now that that made them more popular. That made them, you know, what I'm saying, start getting more motion. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, that's a prime example of. You gotta start from somewhere. You gotta start somewhere. But yeah, like I told y'all, the story is great. You know, amazing. You know, it's just it's good to watch. If um, y'all never seen it, or if y'all don't know about Selena or her story, because I remember when I used to not know anything about it. the first time I heard like heard about Selena, and I don't think I've ever told y'all this, and y'all believe me or not, I discovered Selena because when Jordan Lucas dropped Devil's Work, when he was um paying homage to everybody that, that passed away, he he mentioned Selena, and I'm like, who is Selena? Because he he said Selena and Aaliyah, but I'm like, who is Selena? Man, I don't know who that is. And when I did my research or whatever, I was like, wow. I'm like, dang, like this girl was talented. And people like my cousin got me more involved in her too. So it's like, you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty glad I did. Because, you know, if you don't get to know her or understand her story, you would never, you would have never thought. You know what I'm saying? You would have never imagined, like, things went down the way they did. So her, her, her story is definitely very interesting, for sure. Um, But yeah, y'all, that could be another video of Selena Money. I hope y'all... Thank y'all for tuning in. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, as always, man, uh, any other requests, just drop it in the comment section. I'll see. And, um, yeah, don't be afraid to tell me what you want to see. Yo, did I say 84? I think this is, y'all, my apologies. It's actually, this is actually Selena Monday 85. I'm sorry. It's Selena Monday 85. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sometimes I'll be getting my numbers mixed up. We did so many Selena Monday videos, bro. That's, that's crazy. That shit is wild. But yeah, man, um, as always, I hope y'all stay safe. Um, you know, like this video, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I love y'all. God bless. Steve is out, man. Peace.